You guys know how I feel about my music. All right, let's do it. Warm up. Everything will be for 30 seconds here. We're going to go knee hug, knee to chest. 30 seconds. Nice big squeeze here. There you go. You got Molly or Molly. I can't tell the difference. Good. Big squeeze, big squeeze. Keep it going. You guys are going 30 seconds here. Here, stretch out those hamstrings. Nice job. Keep going, keep going. Nice, good range of motion push up on the bottom. We got five seconds. Get another one in. Three, two, and one. Nice job. We're going to hop down to the ground. We're going to do our wide hip stretches here. I want you to open up with both arms today. Foot up by the hand, open up 
to the left. Open up with the right. Opening up the hips and the thoracic spine here. Nice job. Goal is to get your foot up by your hands, so you do what you can with your range of motion. Stretch it out. Rotate up. Almost there. We got about 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Stay down on the ground. You guys are going to go bird dog. Opposite bar, opposite leg. Go ahead. Engage your core. And then warming up your hamstrings and your glutes. You want to drive your heel through that back wall. Drive your heel through that back wall here. Almost there. Three, two, and one. Stay on the ground. Right leg only. You're going to go heel drive up. Ready and going. Right leg only. Drive your heel through the roof. Now we are isolating the hamstring and the glute. Big squeeze at the top. Big squeeze at the top. Keep it going, keep it going. We're going to do 30 seconds each leg. And you got 10 more seconds here. Nice job. Drive that heel through the roof. Three, two, and one, good, switching legs, ready, and going. Left leg up. Again, isolating that hamstring and that glute. Drive it through the roof. Halfway there. Good, big squeeze at the top, engage that core. Belly button in, but you're breathing. Almost there. Four, three, two, and one. Flip over on your back. Flip over on your back. We're going to go single leg hip lift. Right leg only for 30 seconds. Ready and going. Nice job, nice job. Good. Heel drive. Up. Driving through your heel. Squeezing your glute at the top. Again, big squeeze. Isolating that hamstring and glute. You got 10 seconds on this leg and then we will switch. Five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job switching legs. Ready and going, driving through your heel. Through your heel, using that hamstring. Big squeeze at the top. Nice job. Yeah, halfway. Very good. It's super important to warm up your glutes before we perform exercise. Most people don't know how to fire and isolate their glutes, and it's one of our most important muscles that we have. Five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job, you guys. All right, rest in, standing on up. You guys can have a little sip of water here. You have about a minute break. Our next little circuit is still going to be part of the warm-up. We're just going to get the heart rate up, so I'm going to let you guys grab some water while I explain what we're doing. Um, we did this um, on Monday, but we only did one round. We're going to increase this circuit to two rounds now. So everything's going to be one minute of work with 30 seconds of rest. So we're going to start with our high knees, and you're going to go for a six count. So it's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six. And then you're gonna go into six single leg RDLs. And then you'll go right back to those high knees for six, RDLs for six, and you're gonna cycle through that for a full minute, all right? As we go, we'll have two other exercises to get through, but they'll be easy. So I will take you through that on our rest break. All right, we're gonna start in 10 seconds here. Get these tunes going. You guys are gonna go for one minute, three, 
job. You guys are going to get ready for your lateral shuffle. All right, six of them with your high mountain climbers here. You guys are going about 12 seconds. You guys better soak up this 30 second rest break because our workout today has 10 second rest breaks. Three, two, one, let's go, six. There we go, there we go, go in six total. Nice job, nice job. And then we're here. Six total, put up by the hand. Nice job, shuffle it once you're done. Halfway, halfway. Nice job, nice job. Back down to the ground. Ten seconds, ten seconds. Three, two, one. Rest in. Nice job. We have our squat jumps. We're here for six or regular squats. And then we do our plank with our opposite toe touch. You guys are going to go in 10 seconds. Last one, then we grab water. Three, two, one, six, one. Set up. Whew. Okay, our work to rest is going to be 30 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest. This first round, we only have two exercises to get through, but we're going to go through it five times back to back. So we're going to be moving and grooving. All right, so. Exercise number one, again, if you want to hold a dumbbell or an object here, you can. If you want to do body weight, you can. It's going to be a reverse lunge with a kick, and you're going to alternate legs. Reverse lunge with a kick. Option, you can hold a dumbbell here. Just get that leg up. 30 seconds. Then you're going to have 10 seconds to drop down to the ground, and we're going to do our floor presses. Elbows are going to be in. Pressing your weighted object up overhead for 30. You'll have 10 second breather. And then you're gonna go right back to boom, boom, boom. Reverse lunge with a kick. All right, so get your weights ready. There you go, Gene, that's perfect. Put all those dumbbells in there. Perfect. I like it, I like it. Melissa, get those weights, good work. Ryan, you gotta wait there, buddy. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking. This weather makes my hair wild. We're gonna start in 10 seconds here. 10 seconds 
Again, we got five rounds back to back, so we're gonna be moving and grooving. We're gonna start with those lunges in three, two, one. Reverse lunge with the kick. Add a weight if you want to. Or, trust me, by the time you get to round five here and you're using body weight, your legs will be burning and your heart rate will be up. You got 10 seconds. Combining lower body with upper body today. Three, two, one. 10 seconds, get that on the ground. We're doing our floor presses here. Three, two, one. Press it up. Press it up. Back flat, belly button in. Again, it's only 30 seconds of work, and then you have 10 seconds to transition. Very good. Keep those elbows tucked in. Work those triceps and shoulders. Three, two, and one. Stand it back up. One round down, four to go. We're going to go back to our reverse lunge with our kicks. In three, two, one. Keep that shin vertical in front. Do not press your knee over your front toe. You want your chest to be vertical and your shin to be vertical. Halfway. There we go. Come on, 10 seconds. 10 seconds. Lean it back. Hit that range of motion here. Hit that range of motion. Three, two, one. You're making your way to your ground for your floor presses. And your round two. Three, two, and one. Pressing up. I need your back flat, your belly button in. That's going to engage your core, protect your lower back. Press up with full extension here. Then you should be exhaling on the way up with that weight. That's going to help get your breathing in sync here. 10 seconds. Nice job. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Pop them back up. We're going right back to those lunges. Right back to those lunges. Round three, two, one, reverse one with the kick. Again, keep this vertical. Nice job. Ten seconds, ten seconds. Five, four, three. Two, and one. Back down to the ground for our floor presses. Nice job. You are doing great. I know it's a quick turnover. Three, two, and one. Go in. Nice job. 30 seconds here. 30 seconds. Good. Keep it going, keep it going. Almost there, you got 10 seconds. Three, two, and one. You're on your 10 second breather, nice job. Two more full rounds to go, you're doing great, you're doing great. Back up to those lunges, let's go. Three, two, one, let's do it. I want those legs feeling good tomorrow. Arms feeling good tomorrow. Halfway, halfway, come on. Three, two, one. On the ground for your floor presses. On the ground. End of round four here. We're doing great. Three, two, one. Presses. Presses. 
End of round four. Keep those elbows tucked in. You guys look good. Nice job. Very good. I love it. We got some people with dumbbells. We got some people with weighted objects. I think Marina's got some laundry detergent. We'll confirm with her at the end. I love it. I love it. You got five seconds, and then we got one more round to get through. You guys are crushing. Three, two, one. Stand it up. Promise, last time for these lunges. Last round, last time. Ready and going. First one, get that kick. Add your weight if you want to challenge. Add your weight. I'm okay with it. You do what's best for you. exercises as our active recovery and then we're going to finish with another set of our 30 seconds on 10 seconds off here doing great all right we have four core exercises to get through all right so we're going to go for a minute so we're kind of bumping up our our core work here we usually do around 45 seconds so First one's gonna be a regular plank on the forearm. Regular plank. We're gonna go for a minute. You'll have a 15 second breather, and then we're gonna switch to those jack knives. If you have a dumbbell or a weight and you wanna add it, you can. Number three is gonna be Russian twist. If you have lower back issues or start to feel a pull, simply put your heels on the ground and we will rotate. All right, and then our last one is gonna be a side plank. 30 seconds each side. Again, you can always modify here or you can drop that inside knee down. You're still working the core. All right, so regular plank to start. And we're gonna hold for a minute. You guys are going in 10 seconds here. Four exercises to get through and then we're gonna get back up and get those heart rates going. Regular plank here in three, two, and one. Good. Feet can be shoulder width. I want those hips square to the ground. Hips square to the ground. Back nice and flat, and we're breathing. Nice job. One full minute. You guys got it. We are progressing here. You guys are getting stronger. Even while we're at home. I love it. It's been awesome to see. You guys are doing way more than we were doing week one. You got 20 seconds. Nice job. Nice job. Stay tight. You got 12 seconds. Come on. You got it. Stay up there. Stay up there. Now it's mental. You got five seconds. Three, two, one. Rest it. You're going to switch to those jackknives, so we're going to be here. Shoulder blades up off the ground. You guys are going in five seconds. Alternating legs. Three, two, one. Reach in. Add your weight if you have one. Make it a challenge. Nice job, nice job. Reaching up, shoulder blades up off the ground. 
go. You guys are crushing these. Way to get those shoulder blades up off the ground. Nice job. Good work, my guy. Yeah, way to get all the way up there. Nice job, Melissa. Good work, Heather. Yes. Nice job, nice job. Come on, we got 15 seconds. 15 seconds. Almost there. Come on, five, four, three, two, and one. Resting, resting. We're going to do our Russian twist here. Russian twist. If you can't get those feet up, don't be crossing your feet. We're going to be here, rotating side to side, heels on the ground if you start to feel that back get fatigue. Three, two, one. Go it. Again, add that weight if you want to add a weight. Rotating. But I want you to rotate all the way over to the outside of your body. You should be touching that opposite side of the ground. Touch that ground. That's really going to get those obliques to fire here. You want more range of motion as long as your back feels okay. Engage your core, belly button in. Do not hold your breath. Nice job. Very good, very good. Keep going, keep going. You got 20 seconds. Nice job. Ryan, get those feet up off the ground. Gene, get those feet up off the ground. You guys maybe don't think I'm watching you. I'm watching you, baby. I'm watching you. You got 10 seconds. Almost there. Five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful. Nice job. We're going to do our side plank. 30 seconds each side. We're going to be here. Hips up. If you're a planking pro, you can do a leg lift. All right? Ready? Three, two, one, go. And side plank here. Main goal, hip up off the ground. You can always bring that opposite leg forward for a little bit more support. And we're breathing. Breathing, breathing. Do not hold your breath. Your muscles need oxygen. A lot of people, when we're doing core work, we strain and we hold our breath. I need you guys breathing in the nose, out the mouth. Nice job. We better have Taylor over there today, too. I can't see her in screen, but ooh, she better be here working out. All right, switching sides, switching sides. Nice job, Nicole, with that weight. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, ready and going. 30 seconds on this opposite side. of our workout here, just so you guys know, so you can mentally prepare. Nice job, nice job. Light. There we go. All right, while you guys are grabbing water, you still have rest time, I'm just gonna go through what we're gonna do next. We're gonna be back to that 30 seconds of work and 10 seconds of work timer. Again, we're gonna hit that for five rounds. So this time, we're still got the kicks in there, okay? I want to have a narrow stance squat, so I want those feet right inside the hips. Usually we're either shoulder width or we're wide, okay? Close grip might be a little bit harder for range of motion, but I want us to try. It's going to be a squat with a lateral kick, squat with a lateral kick. Again, if you have a weight or an object, feel free to add that here. It's a squat booty back and we're here. Keep your weight in your heels. For these, it's really easy to want to lean forward, okay? I don't want you to lean forward. I need you to sit your butt back like you're sitting in a chair and drive through those heels. 30 seconds, and then you're gonna hold your object, and we're gonna go our bent over rows. 
for 30 seconds. Bam, you'll be back to your squat kicks. Five rounds. Five rounds, we finish with our core work and you don't have to see us till tomorrow. Jackie? Yes. And bent over rows, can you give the 15 second? Like the half mark? Oh yeah, yeah, that's fine. Do you mind? Yes. Okay, thank you, it. thank Perfect. you. No problem. All right, we are starting in 10 seconds. This will be our last like tougher circuit here, all right? <laughs> We're gonna start with those squats. Ten seconds, 
rest for 15 seconds. Nice job. Doing great, doing great. Summer is here. Basically. Sometimes it rains every other day. Hard to tell. All right. We are going to start with that regular plank here in 10 seconds. So you're getting on the ground on the forearms. We're going to go in five seconds. Three, two, and one, we're here. Back leg or tight. Nice job, nice job. Again, do not hold your breath. In the nose, out the mouth. We got some beautiful planks here. Nice job. Yes. Good flat backs. Hips are square. You guys are more than halfway there. Staying tight. Again, if you start to feel that lower back pulling or getting fatigued, simply drop down to your knees. I promise you, your core will still be engaged and working. You got 15 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. You guys are going to get ready for your jack knives. Add a weight if you have it. We are going to go in five seconds. Three, two, and one. You're here. Reach up for those shins and or shoelaces. Get those shoulder blades up off the ground. There we go. Come on. One straight minute. One straight minute. You got it. There we go. There we go. Exhale on the way up with that weight. Doing great. Doing great. 
30 seconds. Yes. Come on. Very good. We got 10 seconds. We got 10 seconds, guys. Almost there. Exhale on the way up. Four, three, two, and one. Breathe in, rest in. Nice job. You're going to get ready for those Russian twists. Again, if you can to start, let's get those feet up off the ground. All right, then if you need to put your heels on the ground, you can. Three, two, one. Let's do a Russian twist. Hands all the way over, all the way over. Halfway, halfway, doing great. Twenty seconds, and then we go into our side planks, and then we are stretching. Ten seconds, breathing, breathing. Come on, get that weight all the way over. Let's do it. Five, four, three, two. Boy, nice job. You're going to get ready for that side plank here. You're going to go off the ground. My side, advance. Three, two, one, let's go. 30 seconds, 30 seconds. Very good, very good. Keep it going, keep it going. Beautiful. I'm impressed with these side planks are not easy. I will give that to you guys, and I'm not going to lie. I am seeing improvements from week one of our side planks. Three, two, and one. Beautiful. Switching sides. Switching sides. Ready and going. You guys are going right into it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Nice job. You're almost there. You got 10 seconds, guys. 10 seconds. Stay up there. We got five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job, you guys. Stay down on the ground. We're going to stretch it out together. Good work. We were cruising there. Cruising, cruising, nice job. Okay, I'm gonna have us put our right leg forward on the ground, back leg here, so in a lunge position. And we're gonna push our hips forward, not our knee, and we're gonna feel a stretch here in this left, left hip flexor, all right? If you want an extra stretch, you're gonna bring your arms back here. Again, push the hips forward, not necessarily the knee. If your right knee is up, you should feel a stretch through this left hip flexor here. Stretching here, pull those arms back, we're holding for 45. Personally, I like to kind of like rock into it. I'm not a big fan of isometric or like static stretching. So I like to rock, but you can hold if you want to for here. If you want to rock into it, you can rock into it. Nice job. Again, a lot of us, especially if we're doing computer work, our hip flexors are getting tight from being at the desk. So this is a good way to stretch it out. Three, two, one. Good, switching legs here. Left leg forward. Now you're stretching out that right hip flexor. Again, you can bring those arms back here, pushing those hips forward, very good. Reminder, we do have our Saturday session tomorrow. It will be the high intensity with the mobility. So you will get a good combination of both for tomorrow, very important. If we're kicking our butts in our workouts, we got to work on our mobility and flexibility and our weaknesses. Nice job. Breathe in, breathe in. We're bringing the heart rates down. You guys got about 10 more seconds. 
Good, stretch in here, lean into it, stretch out that hip flexor. Three, two, one, good. Now you're gonna cross that left leg in front. We're gonna do our pigeon stretch. I'm gonna be honest, this is not one of my uh, strong points here. So I'm bad at demonstrating this one, but that's why we're doing it together. Cross the leg in front and then ultimately, see I can't even breathe. You wanna lean forward, do the best you can. I'm tight, I'm tight here, see? So I gotta do those Saturday classes with you guys and not skip the mobility. Keep holding, we're gonna hold here for 45 seconds and then we'll switch sides. We got about 15 more. Nice job. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good, switch in. Right leg in front, leaning forward. Again, try to relax the body. Again, if you want to lean into it, you can. I like everyone to kind of do what they're comfortable with for their final stretches here. It could be a static stretch, or you can lean into it, making it a little bit more dynamic. Good, holding it there. You guys got about 20 seconds. Nice job. I'll unmute you guys here soon. We got 10 seconds. Four, three, two, and one. Nice job, proud of all of you guys for coming here on a Friday. Again, another reminder that we will have our Saturday workout tomorrow, 9 a.m. And I know 